how to edit your Shopify DOM theme footer. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be telling you how you can edit your Shopify's footer. So having said that, let's just jump into the video. So if I just simply come over here and scroll down, you can see this is the footer right here and there's not a whole lot going on over here. There's just subscribe to our email button right here and that's pretty much it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and change some of this. We're gonna make it a little bit more better. So let's go back to our dashboard or our homepage right here. And in the theme section right here of our dashboard, we can see we have the customize option right here. And all you have to do is click on customize. What you can do is you can create a copy of it like I did right here. Let me just remove this because there's an all of the copy. Now to create a duplicate, all you gotta do is click on the three buttons and click on duplicate and that will create a copy of your website. Now, what this will allow you to do is this will allow you to go ahead and customize and play with this theme while that, while the original is still online and you know, it's still okay and working. So because of the duplicate, what we can do is if we even make some sort of mistake, what will happen is the original won't be affected, right? So that's why it's important to create a duplicate of your website. All right, so once it's done, all you gotta do is just simply click on the customize button to open up the customizer. And once it's loaded up, you are good to go. So over here, this is the website editor. On the left-hand side, you will see all of your options such as headers, templates, you know, you have different sections over here. And then at the bottom, you have footer. So if we scroll down to the bottom, we can see we have the footer option right here. So here you can see if I click on this arrow drop downs over here, it shows that we don't have a lot of blocks over here. So if I just click on this eye icon, the footer is gone. So let's go ahead and bring it back. Now, if I click on the footer itself on the right hand side, a bunch of different options show up. So over here, you can see if you want the show email sign up button, if you click on that, you know, as you can see over here, it pops up and it pops out. So we're going to skip that for now. And then over here, we can see what else do we want to add? We want to add policy links over here, payment icons, enable language selector and all of this. Now, if you want to have all of these, you have to go ahead and, you know, set them up. So over here, as you can see, to display your social media accounts, link them in your theme settings. So if we click on the theme settings over here on the left hand side, you can see you have a bunch of different options here. You can see the social media icons so over here. Just enter in your Facebook links your Instagram link, YouTube, or any other social links that you want to add. You can add that over here. You can add your currency format charts and all of the other ones. If you have your own custom CSS code, you can apply that over here as well. So let's go ahead and move on. Let's click on section and move back to the footer. So here you can see in order to add all of these different options, you have to go ahead and enable them and add them in within your settings. And at the bottom, we have theme settings. And over here, you can see some different theme settings. And here you can go ahead and add an image, add headlines, a description, and add your social links. And at the bottom, you have a custom CSS code. So if you wanted to add your own custom CSS or your own custom theme or template, you can add it right here by adding the code and you should be good to go. So let's go ahead and add some different sections. So over here in the footer section right here, if I click on add a section, we can see we have two different options. We have email sign up, custom liquid and video background. This is a custom template that I added within the code. So we're not going to go ahead and do that. And then you have these options right here, which is announcement bar, which I have already added. So if you already have some apps that you have added, you can go ahead and use them right here as well. So in the custom liquid, if you click on a here on custom liquid, and what this will do is you will have to go ahead and add your own custom liquid app. So over here, you have to add your own app snippets or any other code that you want to add. So you can go ahead and add it over here. But for this video, we are not going to be doing that since it's a little bit more complicated process. So let's go ahead and add some more options. So in the footer option, if I click on add block, we can see we have four blocks. We have menu, brand information, text, and image. In the footer, you generally don't need to add a bunch of stuff to it. So if we go ahead and take a look at some of the other examples from other website, so let's take a look at this website, sheen.com and see how their footer is, right? So let's go ahead and scroll all the way to the bottom. And here is their footer. So over here, you can see we have pretty simple, you know, footer right here. We have their social media links on all social media platforms, their application, their email sign up. We accept the following payment methods right here. And here are all of their quick pages link. So we can go ahead and use this as an example and add it to our store. So let's go ahead and create 
something similar to that so to do that let's go ahead and click on add footer and here we want to click on menu so if we click on menu we can see we have quick links over here and over here we can change the footer menu right here so if you click on change footer menu and click on change menu here we can see what type of menu you want all right so over here you can create a menu over here you can create customer account main menu footer menu and main menu if you select main menu then all of the main menu from your header are going to be available over here if you select footer of course it's footer but if you click on create new menu you can create your own navigation links over here so here you can add title and over here you can add the items that you want so let's go ahead and say custom footer right here that's the name and click on add items and here we can paste the link to all of our items so let's say we want a search option or a collection right that looks good we can select our collection over here if you don't have any particular collection created you can come over here underneath the product section open it up in another tab and here in the product section we can go ahead and see we have the collection option over here on the left hand side and here we can go ahead and create a new collection so let's go ahead and create a new collection for our footer and i'm going to call it jewelry and then over here we can go ahead and add our product so there are a couple of ways to add it either manually or automated if you select manually you have to add them manually of course but if you select automatically existing and future products that match the conditions will set to automatically so here you can go ahead and select that and over here you can select the point of sales and over here you can add the tag so if you've added the tags to all of your products then you are good to go so here you can see you have a bunch of different tags so let's say we want the jewelry over here right so this is jewelry so we can go ahead and select all the jewelry so we have pendants all right go ahead and add other ones such as anchor or we'll add the other ones beads all are also considered jewelry so now choker as well so we can go ahead and one by one do all of these and here we have some collections that i've created we can go ahead and add them to our links so here we will find them so let's go ahead and click on add links and here we can go ahead and search for it so here we can see we have collections if we click on collections it'll load up and now we have all these collections so let's go ahead and select men and click on add we'll have to do this manually so here we have another one so we'll go ahead and add collections we'll go ahead and add men's jewelry click on that there we go we can add another menu item click over here click on connections and go with women and another one will do the same thing for women's jewelry and there we go so now we have these options right here we can add like a custom footer over here this is going to be the title menu items or you can you know it depends on you and let's say this is a collection of list or a list of collections if you want to do that so let's go ahead and save this for now and see how it looks like in the editor so here is the editor right here and over here we can go ahead and add our quick links so i've actually zoomed in quite a lot so let me just zoom out and here we can go ahead and add it so here we have the quick links over here we can change the menu click on change menu and here we will find the custom footer if you click on custom footer we can see we have our jewelry right here if you click on select there we go now we can go ahead and move on to the next one so over here instead of quick links we can say this is the this is our collection all right so we can type collection over here like that i think that looks good next we can also add another block over here so we can add like a brand info over here so here we go in the brand info we will have to show our social media icon so let's go ahead and do that within our theme settings so here we have our social media links here we'll add our social media link accounts so i'm going to go ahead and type one by one all of our social media accounts for facebook instagram youtube and tiktok and twitter and there we go so now we have added some of our social media links and now we'll go ahead and click on save to add them and they're already displayed right here so let's go back to the section editor and here we go so here we have the collection this is the brand information we can click over here uh, this block will display your brand information right here so of course we've already done that here is the brand information here we can add the tagline the description and an image as well so over here let's go ahead and add our tagline or we can you know go ahead and type our store but i do have to say there's two of them why are there two of them let me go ahead and see okay so this is the brand information right here if we click on it we can disable the social media link so we won't see them here we can just add our brand information so there we go that is that looks much better so this looks pretty good we can add description as well if you want to but i think this looks good next let's go back to this section and then over here another thing that we want to add is the email right we want to add the email section right here which is going to be the sign up option right here we go 
it should pop up any second now it's loading up and here we go so now it actually looks pretty cool but i actually wanted it to you know move into the footer section right here but unfortunately it's up there so maybe we can move it down here so like that no it's not so i forgot within the footer section there is already an option to show email sign up so we just have to turn that on instead of adding an entire section so that way it will encompass all of our footer so our footer should now look complete and this is how it looks like so over here it doesn't look pretty cool but you know we can go ahead and change it up because over here we can add our images our other text and we can add more collection list over here that way it would look very very similar to sheen so you can see they have their own social links and accept payment so once we have set up everything this is how it would look like and pretty simple so you'll have all the options right here and it'll automatically you know place all the things that you would want to have so pretty cool so yeah this is how you do it this is how you edit a footer of your shopify theme so thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to hit the like button subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications and i will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye